Yo 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 my people, what you look tell the beach your boy Kazizino back again with another video on the main channel, yeah? In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about Oh I'm gonna be telling you guys secondary school advice that you need to hear. Um, because basically one of my younger cousins, he's actually going into year seven this year and yeah, that's crazy. I, I left well I finished school 2015, so what's that? Bruh, that's six years. This year will be six years that I left secondary school. Bruh, everyone's getting old. <laughs> but now, uh, honestly, this is gonna be some advice for you lot. For anyone who's going into secondary school this year, this is the video for you. If you lot are not, if some of you are not from the UK, secondary school is when it's between the ages of 11 to 16. You start in year seven and then you end in year 11. So. You, for me, year seven was my best year because in year seven, you just, everyone is completely the same. You lot are just meeting new people and you lot are the youngest out of the whole school. Year seven is basically the starting point and that's when you get to meet new people, you just find your friends and that. Year seven is pretty much the easiest year out of high school. And then year 11 is when you do GCSEs. If you don't know what GCSEs are, GCSEs are basically exams of the subjects you're doing. It's just exams that you do at the end of high school and you either go to sixth form or go to college or you can do an apprenticeship afterwards. At the end of year nine, that's when you get to choose your GCSEs. And then in year 10, that's when you do your mock exams. And then in year 11, that's when you do the actual GCSEs itself. Choose the GCSEs that you actually enjoy doing because for me my mistake was I chose some GCSEs that um, my friends were doing and I chose some of them that I thought I was gonna enjoy but I didn't really enjoy them and yeah I, I would like to look I, I didn't do good in my GCSEs I didn't because I didn't really revise didn't really take it serious but hey I still ended up at university so my tips for your secondary school experience from year 7 to year 11 number one would have to be don't be a follower because that's just showing you're not your own person. Your choices that you make are determined from the thoughts of other people. You're not a shepherd, you're not doing your, your own thing. You're just trying to fit in like everyone else. Being a follower, it, it just doesn't get you nowhere. It really doesn't. So I would just say, be your own person. Just surround yourself with shepherds. Number two would have to be, I think this is one of the biggest ones, and this was one of the biggest mistakes I ever made in high school, was, is don't be popular. I tried to be popular in high school. If you haven't seen the videos that I I've made from my high school experience on my second channel go check out my second channel it's in the link in the description below so go check those story times out but I tried to be popular because I wanted the people to like me so I was trying to change myself so they can like me don't do that that is a stupid idea don't do that you'll find your own group of friends just be yourself and then you'll literally find the right people for you and most of the time where, where does being popular get you where does it get you what getting known around the whole school it, like seriously, it, it, it doesn't get you nowhere. It don't. I swear, it, it doesn't get you nowhere. After you finish high school, you, you're you not going to even see half of these people. You're only going to be in touch with like your closest friends and a few people here and there. But other than that, you're not going to be in touch with any of these people. The next one would have to be revise. You might want to do an apprenticeship and they need certain GCSE grades. Or you might even want to go to a certain sixth form or college and they, they need certain GCSE grades. If you want to go to them, then you're going to have to revise and just get the best grades you can. If you don't do well, but you still tried your hardest, no one can complain. Not everyone is good at academics. I'm not good at academics. That's not my strong suit. I'm more of a practical guy. I like to do practical stuff. You still find something. Like I didn't do good, but I went to a college that accepted me and then I, I progressed onto university. So look, there's, there's many opportunities, many possibilities that can happen. My last tip, yeah, would just, just enjoy your experience, to be honest, because it's just gonna go quick. You're there for like five years. Those five years are gonna go quick. Be present, enjoy your experience, and then, yeah, even though for me, high school wasn't the best thing, except for year seven, but other than that, it, it, it just, it wasn't really the best for me since some, some of the decisions that I made were not the best. So I, that's what I'm telling you guys right now, the advice that I'm saying, just take it in. Other than that, enjoy yourselves and then you should be fine. Yo, 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 my people, it's a whole new day now, but I just wanted to add a few more points to some of the points that I made in previously in this video. So first of all, yeah, my parents tried to give me advice before I started high school, 
but I didn't want to hear it. But really and truthfully, your parents know best. Like my, I should have listened to the advice that my parents gave me, but I didn't want to listen to them. This is where an older sibling or an older cousin could have told me what to do, what not to do, right from wrong, and so I could just could have had a better high school experience. In regards to being popular, yeah, it may be nice. It may be nice to be well liked, supposedly, well known around the whole school, but it can be a hindrance. It can significantly affect your studies. For instance, you're going to be multitasking from trying to do your work and talking to other people because normally popular kids are very extroverted. They like to be in, in groups at all times. They like to just speak their mind in classes and that. So that will severely affect your studies because you're gonna get easily distracted. And once you're easily distracted, you're not gonna be doing your work. And once you're not doing your work, then your grades are gonna dip. And when your grades are gonna dip, you're just gonna feel bad for yourself. Build a positive relationship with one or more of your teachers because they're there to help you succeed in your studies. With me, I didn't wanna to show to the teachers or to the people in my class that I was struggling. So I tried to manage it myself. I didn't wanna put my hand up to ask the teacher for help because with, I thought if I did then I would look stupid. I actually cared about what other people thought of me but you shouldn't care about what other people think. Obviously you care about your friends and your family but you really need to focus on yourself. They're not doing the GCSEs, you're doing them. This is not their life, this is your life. If you want to succeed in life, you're going to have to go for it. You're going to have to put the work in and never give up and you're going to have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself then no one's going to believe in you. If you're struggling on something, just speak up, put your hand up and then the teacher will come. They'll help you. The teachers will actually help you so you can clearly understand what to do. This was my problem. I didn't want to seem stupid or, or dumb to the teachers or to, the, to my classmates. So that's why I didn't put my hand up and I didn't really ask for help. This resulted in me not revising or not um, doing well in my GCSEs because I, I could have asked for help. I could have even organized meetings with the teachers so I can clearly understand other topics. And then if I did that and revised and put 100% effort in my GCSEs, then I would have done well. I would have done way better than I actually did. I was so devastated, yeah, when I didn't do well in my GCSEs. I broke down, I cried, I can't lie. I cried when I got my GCSE results. But then I, I eventually realized that after believing my own abilities, so I can succeed in my life. I don't want to be a bum in my life. I don't. I want to be a very successful individual, not only for myself, but for my family. And then out of nowhere, I managed to find the college that supported my journey. Shout out to TJ. TJ was one of the media technicians. I did uh, TV and film in level two, then it changed to media in level three. So I did that in college and he was, he was one of the people that always looked out for me. He was actually the first person to teach me how to edit. So if it wasn't for him, then I, I wouldn't really know how to edit right now. So guys, I, all I want to say is so don't be a follower don't try to be popular revise and enjoy yourself school will have some of the best and some of the challenging times of your whole life but you are on the start of your journey to becoming the best version of you so focus on yourself focus on your journey work hard and obviously just enjoy it as the time flies by so my people that's the end of the video i hope you really enjoyed this video and i hope that the advice i give you really helps throughout your high school experience and yeah like comment subscribe for more videos more videos are on the way subscribe to my other channel follow all the socials they'll be linked in the description below and yeah you lot will see me in the next one peace